Is it true? Did Sony finally get it together and make us a big telephoto zoom that we've been asking years for? Well, there's leaks, there's rumors, and there's a big announcement coming out in just a few hours. Let's see what we know so far. Here we go. So here we are, my friends. It's June 5th, 2019, and we've allegedly have a Sony announcement coming up in a few hours, just tomorrow or whenever that is in London time about the Sony 200 to 600 millimeter and I think this all got started when really there was a leaked prototype that you see here and obviously this thing's kind of in pieces it's not very pretty and it's just overall kind of weird looking looks like a Frankenstein kind of lens um, but it does give us some clues again we have no idea how old this thing is if the specs are accurate or if this is going to be anything close to the final product but assuming it is, let's look at what we know. From the pictures, it's fairly clear that it's an E-mount at 5.6 to 6.3, variable long-range telephoto zoom, 200 to 600 millimeters. It's a G-series and it's OSS, so it is image stabilized. Also, we've kind of got a doctored look at what the size of this thing might actually be like compared to, say, some of the other lenses. So basically for all the time that we've waited, if these things are actually true... No! God, please, no! 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 For Sony's sake, I really hope this isn't true. First off, the 200 to 600 focal length is just a bit weird. And the 5.6 to 6.3 is definitely underwhelming. For me, I don't see how they could actually make it bigger than the third party lenses. They've done a great job with the 100-400, and if you look at technology that's emerging like the Canon 70-200 to that's just tiny, or Sigma with their new 60-600 to with a better focal and aperture range, they need to do better. In terms of size, focal length, and aperture, I hope this is a prototype that they used long ago. So anything Sony really has great performance and quality, and definitely the Sony price tag to go with it. But in a very competitive market, I need to see this thing definitely under 2000 bucks. Being a mid-range telephoto, you're competing with the newer Sigma that I mentioned, as well as the tested and true Sigma and Tamron 150-600. to All you need to do is buy an adapter, and for the price these days, I'm sure you can grab a few of them. Bottom line, Sony's been missing out huge by not having an affordable, big telephoto zoom. And if this is what they're going to bring to the table, I see this thing being a huge letdown. But before I get all out of control, let's wait 24 hours and see what really comes to light. It's not often that Sony disappoints, and nobody can win them all. So let's leave it at that guys, just a fun video, some speculation, some fun. But let me know what you guys think. Am I crazy to think that they just can't release something that's old and outdated, that's not even as good and more expensive than the Tamron and Sigma counterparts? But anyways, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button and drop your questions and comments down below. I'll keep you up to date on what I find tomorrow and my thoughts on it. And like always, make mistakes, be yourself, get out there and take some more pictures. See you next time, guys.